Tesla's full self-driving supervise is awesome, unless you live in Europe or mostly anywhere else outside the US or Canada. Version 2024.32.6 brought some nice improvements to us in Europe. Basically, it got rid of the applied torque requirement in order to get rid of the warning. It's enough now to touch the steering wheel and the warning goes away. Also, when you do a lane change, it's enough to signal and the car does it immediately without requiring you additional steering wheel input. During this drive, I was trying to see what are the limits of the system right now. Uh, you see a lot of apply torque to the steering wheel messages on the screen. That's because I was not paying attention to the road all the time. I was trying to, to look around and see exactly when the system gets triggered. Also, I was kind of playing around with my hands on the wheel to see what's a good position in which the system doesn't complain and also what's a comfortable position uh, that I can adopt during a longer road trip. As you can see, as soon as I confirmed the lane change uh, using my turn signal, the car did it uh, immediately without any additional uh, requirements. I also wanted to test uh, the camera vision-based attention detection, so I was playing with the phone to see if that triggers something. And yes, it did. You can see the please pay attention to the road message that's just popped up. For me this was, I think, the first time this kind of message popped up. I'm not sure if it was there before and I just was not aware of it because it didn't happen to me, but this is the first time for me that I'm seeing it. Again, changing lanes, just apply the turn signal and the car does it immediately in less than one second. Again, a lane change, flawlessly done. I, I enjoy these lane changes uh, very much. It's uh, so easy to, to go on a long road trip right now. Also testing with various uh, ways of touching the wheel to see exactly when the system complains. It seems that it might detect the hand being over the wheel. That's how it to kind of assess that you are in contact with it. Unfortunately, during the night, it doesn't work. It kind of reverts to the old system. I think that's because it is trained with video data from the daytime. But still, even during the night, it doesn't complain that much and it goes away faster than it did before. You don't have to apply that much torque as you did before. We reached our destination and uh, on our way back there were zero nags, exactly zero. I found a comfortable position to hold my thumb on the wheel and the system did not complain even once. I think this is very promising in terms of EU adopting the FSD in 2025. This is a major step forwards towards FSD, at least on the highway, as it seems that will be the case in the first part of next year. If things change, we might also get it in the cities, but yeah, I, I'm not really sure about that. Let's see it working on the highway first, and then maybe the legislation changes, and we will get on par with the system in uh, the US.
During my way back home, I tried to play a lot with the lane changes in order to assess its behavior, and it was flawless. No issues whatsoever. The nags were all gone. Of course, I kept my thumb on the wheel at all times, but yeah, a major improvement without needing to apply the torque. Merging back into the slower lanes, it's my favorite thing to do. If you look here, my speed was greater than the car on my right, but Tesla handled it flawlessly. It reduces the speed in order to be able to merge exactly behind the car in front of me. Hope you liked my video, until next time, stay curious.